But the main benefit that I think cold showers bring is the mental acuity that, that gets brought on with it. So like I said, in the beginning, you get this little shock. You get, you get this shock. Your cardiac output goes up. Blood gets pushed to your heart, your brain. And with that influx of more blood to, to the brain, it pushes in some dopamine, endorphins, all those few good chemicals. And that's why you might feel a little bit more alert, more a little like ready to go. You just feel a little bit better. And some of the research that I looked at is that cold showers, along with other therapies, medication, things like that, cold showers had somewhat an effect uh, on, on psychosis. Something about that initial shock with the cold, it's almost like electroshock therapy that they used to use for depression, schizophrenia back in the day where it shocks your brain. So this cold shower is almost like a mini shock without those adverse effects, you could say, or risk of throwing you into a different mental problem. So this little shock is almost like a quick little reset or they're thinking this little shock increases the threshold for you to have those psychotic episodes or that threshold goes a little bit higher for you to maybe produce that schizophrenia effect or those mental issues. So for some reason, there, they, there's like a small link to it that cold showers might help with schizophrenia or psychosis by giving that, that little shock and almost resetting something in your brain and also increasing that threshold. So it's going to take you a little bit more stress, you could say, to go into that psychosis. Depression, on the other hand, there has been sh some research that's showing that cold showers do have some implication on the prevention or decrease of, of depression. So with that being said, the idea that I mentioned before, the idea that pushing more blood to your brain is also pushing endorphins, dopamine, pushing more neurotransmitters to your brain, which then they're thinking that it plays a role in, in depression and pre preventing it. And plus, when you get that shock influx of blood, you just natural feel. But if you haven't taken a cold shower, when you step in, you get this shock and it's almost like you're freaking out, you're freaking out, you're freaking out. And the whole time you'll be freaking out for those 5, 10, 15 minutes while you're in that cold shower. But when you step out, you just feel like a different human being. You're feeling like something just changed a little bit. It's almost like you're more wired, more ready to go. It's not to the effect of, let's just say, Adderall or those kind of medications, but you're going to see and feel like a little bit of a mental edge, like, huh, like, damn, this feels good. It sucked, but the fact that it sucked, I just feel more awake now for some reason. And those are the main things I wanted to point out with the sauna and cold showers. I highly recommend them. You should try it. Of course, do your baby steps. Maybe do the sauna for 15 minutes. Just push through it. And then once you finish that sauna, pop, go to that cold shower, do like five, 10 minutes, and you might feel a little bit of a difference. Something about just getting through the this sucks part just makes you feel better in general. And it does translate to, to life because if you're in school, you don't want to do the homework. If you're at work, you don't want to go to work. You don't want to do the laundry. You don't want to clean your room. You don't want to do this. You don't want to do that. And you're always forcing yourself to do things. And you always have to like battle your lazy self or your, or your weak self. And somehow the struggle that you encompass in the, in the sauna and the cold shower, it trends over where it's just a little bit easier to, uh, to do certain things. One thing I want to point out before I end this show is the concept of hormesis. So this is the exposure to a stress or a toxin at small amounts for its positive and beneficial response. So this idea is that if you expose yourself to a small amount of stress or a small amount of toxin, you'll be more resilient to that toxin. So with the stress, if you put yourself in a little bit of a stress situation, it increases that the, the threshold of where you feel that stress and it makes things just a little bit easier. And in the physiological sense, a lot of times the way people maybe try to get rid of allergies or maybe decrease the allergy response, like for example, peanuts, they slowly introduce peanuts to their system a little bit by little bit. And sometimes that works in curing peanut allergies or nut allergies by slowly getting your body accustomed to the peanut, to whatever the peanut has or a nut has to cause that allergic response. Same thing with stress. You slowly expose yourself to small stressors. Over time, those stressors aren't as bad as they initially were. 